Assalamu alaikum. Um, so I'm going to do a review of the two half niqabs that I received from Al Nuj Al Baba. So um, this scarf is actually from them as well. I just did a couple of I did a tutorial for two different styles that you can do with this uh, maxi square hijab. Um, so it's in pebbled Georgette. I will be linking to the half niqabs down below in the comments if you're interested. Um, I'm really liking this brand and for sisters who want to try to start wearing niqab, um, it's very affordable, uh, about three or four dollars for a niqab and that is a major, major plus um, whenever you're trying something out. My first niqab actually cost me probably about $30 uh, to buy a good one. And so if you're kind of just starting out, you don't know if you're going to stick with it or you just want one to throw on um, when you're going to the masjid or something like that, um, Al Al Baba is really amazing. Um, so they gave, they sent me two um, half niqabs. This one is burgundy, uh, pebble georgette which is the same material of the scarf that I'm wearing. And then the other one they sent me in black and it was just regular Georgette. So um, I don't know if you could tell, but I had to pin these. So let me put this on so you can kind of see. Um, so what I really like about these is they're very lightweight. You can hardly tell that they're on your face, um, which is really nice. Uh, I know that I sometimes uh, get feelings of like being suffocated if I'm having an anxiety attack or something. Um, and so the fact that these are light is really nice for that. So you don't have to worry about really having that feeling. Um, they are longer than I anticipated on the website. It kind of looked like they were going to be like short eating niqabs, um, but they weren't. So I have a pretty small head. Um, I've said before in other videos that I'm about the size of a 12 year old probably, um, maybe 14. So I'm pretty, pretty tiny. Um, these, these niqabs, the elastic on them is very, very big. Um, I don't think that my husband has done a cameo in any of my reviews or videos yet, um, but basically he's a Viking. Um, he's like six something feet tall, really large build, really big head. So I had him actually try on one of the knee cobs, um, which of course went really well, um, just to see if it fit him, even though it didn't fit me. And it was loose on him as well. So um, hopefully after my review and some talks uh, with Jenna, who runs um, who runs uh, Al Mujal Baba and uh, does all of the stuff for them. Maybe they can alter the design a little bit to make the elastic a little bit shorter um, to fit more average size women. So what I did for that is I just took one of these no snag hijab pins. Um, they're also called Japanese hijab pins or diaper pins. Um, I have several. Al Mushal Baba also sells them in multiple colors, some of them with rhinestones, things like that. They're really uh, easy and affordable to get online. Um, I recommend getting some even if you don't need to pin your niqab. So I did this just to get the right length. Um, I plan on later sewing the elastic so that way I don't have to use up hijab pins on my niqabs all the time. So this one here I wore out uh, the first day that I actually received the uh, package from El Mujal Baba. Um, they're in Texas, by the way, which is really good for all of our American, um, Canadian, and Mexican uh, sisters who live in the area because they'll be able to get shipping really easily. So, uh, so I wore this niqab out 
Um, it was really windy. So these are extremely lightweight. Um, they will get blown pretty easily by the wind. They're not weighed down. What's nice about them though is that since they have such a coverage range about to here, actually longer because they go over my ears, um, even when it blows it doesn't really show my face. I don't know how it'll work with other sisters. I guess it would depend on the size of your head. Um, but for me, the wind blowing wasn't necessarily something terrible. Um, it was just cold. So I will let you know that you may not want to use these during the freezing cold winter. Um, wind grabs them really easily, goes through really easily. And um, that's one of the issues that I was having with them. Other than that though, um, when we were, you know, we went to the grocery store, we went to Kohl's, we did some other shopping, and I was completely fine. Um, it felt like basically it wasn't even there, and I could breathe through it just fine, and I didn't have really any heat problems or anything either. So that's the black one, it's regular Georgette. Now, the burgundy one is Pebble Georgette. Um, I wore it to the mall with my husband and a friend over the weekend. Um, again, well, I said this in the other video, but if you saw that stain, I got syrup on it. Um, so we went to the mall and I thought that maybe I was having a panic attack or something. Um, but what we've kind of figured out is if, if it either was a panic attack or, um, I was very dehydrated, which could be either one because I'm always dehydrated. Um, but what I noticed while I was at the mall wearing this is it actually is quite a bit warmer um, than the black one. I'm thinking it's probably just because of the texture. Um, it is a little bit thicker, it feels like. So even though it's still really weightless um, and still very breathable, uh, if you are inside in a place that has heat going or if you're outside in the heat you may feel like some sweat like right here usually um just because even though it's breathable it's still really warm uh that's the only thing that i really have bad to say about this and it's really not even that bad because my other niqabs that are made of saudi crepe still have that issue in the summer so again you know these are their half niqabs they're from al mujal baba um, they're really easy to fix. You just take a pin, fold it till you where you need it, and pin it in. Uh, the first day I actually just used a regular stick pin. Um, sorry, I was gonna try and show you. Actually, here yeah, I have a stick pin in. You know, I just used a regular stick pin like this um, and pinned it to the back of my hijab um, and my underscarf. So that way it just stayed in. Um, and that's about it. So I will link to them below. Um, I encourage any sisters who want to start wearing niqab, actually any woman who want to start wearing niqab, since I have a few um, non-Muslim friends who'd like to start wearing niqab as well for anxiety issues or for uh, other religious reasons. Um, I would urge you, please, please buy from El Mujal Baba first, considering how affordable they really are. Um, they make a couple different kinds of half niqabs, and then they also make single layer niqabs as well, I know for sure, uh, with the headband. Um, so please, 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 if you are going to do this, go to them first so you don't have to spend money on a really nice niqab and then maybe you don't even wear it anymore. Um, I would not want anyone to have to pay $30 for something they decide they don't want to wear. So uh, try it out first, go visit Al Mujal Baba and you will not be disappointed, inshallah. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Um, I hope you have a great weekend. Assalamu alaikum.